Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Since the end of World War II, the United States has transported 1,200 German scientists back to their country and forced them to conduct scientific experiments and research for themselves, laying a solid foundation for the subsequent technological hegemony. In 1947 and 1958, American scientists invented transistors and integrated circuits one after another and took the lead in mastering core technologies and patents. In recent years, they have already penetrated into all aspects of the global semiconductor industry chain. Even the lithography giant ASML and the chip foundry giant TSMC have used American technology and equipment, which means that the United States has always dominated the semiconductor field. Although the emergence of Huawei's Kirin chip has completely broken Qualcomm's monopoly in the domestic mobile phone chip market and even put pressure on Apple in the mobile phone market, Huawei ushered in the darkest moment when the United States included it in the entity list and forcibly modified the semiconductor supply rules. On the one hand, TSMC stopped the foundry service of Kirin chips under the coercion and inducement of the United States. On the other hand, ASML was also restricted from exporting EUV lithography machines to mainland manufacturers, resulting in domestic chip manufacturers unable to foundry advanced Kirin chips for Huawei. In the end, Huawei fell into the dilemma of no chips available. However, what the United States never expected was that since Huawei was sanctioned, Chinese companies have embarked on the road of self-research, and the import volume of chips has been continuously reduced every year, causing Qualcomm. Intel, NVIDIA and other American chip companies to usher in a cold winter. Not only that, in just three years, Huawei has successfully achieved a breakthrough with its strong strength and returned strongly with the Kirin chip. In the first quarter of this year, Huawei also relied on 11.7 million mobile phone sales and 17% market share to surpass Apple and return to the top position in China, which is very gratifying. What made the Biden team break the defense even more was that China has made major breakthroughs in the field of lithography in recent years. First, Shanghai Microelectronics conquered the key technology of 28 nanometers lithography, and then the research team in related fields of Harbin Institute of Technology also independently developed high-speed ultra-precision laser interferometers and DPP UV light source technology, laying a strong foundation for the future development of EUV lithography. In addition, Fudan University has recently hit another king bomb. According to Guangming.com, Wei Daqing's team from the Department of Polymer Science and the State Key Laboratory of Polymer Molecular Engineering of Fudan University has successfully designed a functional photoresist, breaking the technical barriers again. According to researchers, this functional photoresist can realize the interconnection of 27 million organic transistors on polymer semiconductor chips, and its integration has reached the level of ultra-large scale integration, which has overtaken many European and American companies. At present, this achievement 
has been published in the journal Nature Nanotechnology. You should know that photoresist, also known as photoresist, is an indispensable core material in chip manufacturing. Previously, photoresist has been monopolized by Japanese companies such as Fujifilm and Tokyo Oka. According to statistics, Japan has occupied nearly 90% of the photoresist market in recent years, and it can be said that it has absolute voice. But as the hardcore brother of the United States, once Japanese companies cut off the supply of photoresist to China, China's chip industry will be greatly impacted. Therefore, at this critical moment in China, the independent research and development of photoresist is the top priority. This also once again shows that Fudan University has made a contribution this time. The multifunctional photoresist it has developed not only breaks the technical barriers, but also effectively promotes the development of the domestic chip industry which can be said to be very gratifying. Once China can successfully break the blockade and technical barriers in both lithography machines and photoresists, it will no longer be afraid of US sanctions in the future, and domestic chips will surely rise strongly. Even foreign media have said that domestic lithography machines are unstoppable. As the saying goes, there is no scar, where is the thick skin and flesh? Although a series of sanctions by the United States in recent years have severely injured Chinese companies such as Huawei, it has also further forced China to embark on the road of self-research faster. Now Shanghai Microelectronics has mastered the key technology of 28 nanometers lithography machine. Harbin Institute of Technology has mastered the three core technologies of EUV lithography machine. Fudan University has made major breakthroughs in photoresist, and SMIC has made breakthroughs in mature processes and increased production capacity in recent years. I believe that in a few years, China will be able to completely break the blockade and restrictions and show the glory of domestic chips and domestic lithography machines on the international stage. Please like if you agree.